all right let's go ahead to plot our graph okay now looking at the graph we are plotting this on the vertical this on the right side the question so we are plotting the graph of this okay on the vertical and this on the horizontal now we study the the trend of our values i'm just going to take a scale that is convenient for me make sure the scale you take and cover a little third of the graph now what i'm going to do is i study it perfectly i'll be using on v as i'll be using 0 0.05 unit to two centimeter on V reciprocal axis and then on this look at the different four so I'll be using one point zero unit to represent four centimeter on I reciprocal axis okay so let me go ahead to plot my graph now this way my axis so you don't lose mark on that I reciprocal axis okay, so let me go ahead so 0 0.05 unit to 2 centimeter means if you measure it is 2 centimeter look at use your ruler to measure 2 centimeter 10 buses made 2 centimeter okay you can see 2 centimeter 10 buses made 2 centimeter so that means this 0 0.05 I will now have um, um, you add it to it, that will give you 0 0.1. I'll have 0 0.15. I'll have 0 0.2. I'll have 0 0.25. I'll have 0 0.3. 0 0.35. I'll have 0 0.4. 0 0.45. And then I'll have 0 0.5. Now on this as is as you need four centimeter, so that'll be from here to here is four centimeter, so that'll be one point zero okay, one point zero, two point zero, three point zero, four point zero. So let me go ahead to plot the values. Now let's go. When it is zero point five on the vertical, that is this. It is 4 on the horizontal. Now this is 0 0.5. You see? It is 4 on the horizontal. So I'll trace it. This is 4. So it will be here. You trace 4. Correct. Now we'll plot the next one. Now when it is 0 0.17, how we have a problem here, we might not have a direct reading that way. What you need to do, you need to know what each of these books, okay? The value of this box now let's look at this vertical this vertical we said two centimeter to represent 0 0.5 that means there are 10 buses 10 buses to 0 0.05 so what i will do is 0 0.05 divided by 10 that gives me 0 0.0053 so if i multiply times two for instance i have 0 0.01 okay 0 0.01 that means each boss is 0 0.01 okay so now if i have to locate 0 point if i have to locate 0 0.07 now this of course 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.15 so that means each two bosses two two of those but if i count one two that will be 0 0.01 if i add it to it with 0 0.016 another two box that will be 0 0.0 Sorry, that is 0 0.17. This is where 0 0.17 will be. Okay, two bus, two buses is 0 0.01. So this is 0 0.15. One, two, that will be 0 0.16. And the one to add to it, that will be 0 0.17. So I've located 0. So 0 0.17 is here. 
Okay, now it gets to 1.33. Why? We could just plus as approximate value here 1.1.33. 1 See, let's report approximate value 1.33. Okay, on this. Now we do the same thing here. There are 20 boxes to one unit. So all I would need to do is to say one divided by 20 to know what each boss means. That means each boss is 0 0.05. So if I say times two now, for instance, 0 0.1. That means two boxes 0 0.1. Now I want to locate 0 0.13. This is already one. That means if I count two boss, that will be 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3. 1 I'm probably approximate value anyway, 1.3. Okay. So I just trace it. 1.3 is like this. Okay, so you just trace it where it is now to where we had 0 0.17. So that will be somewhere here. Okay, here. Are you getting it now? So we just mark that. We mark that. Let me show you one more. Okay, we're plotting 0 0.7. Sorry, we're plotting 0 0.1 against 0 0.77. You know. What we are doing is this. I could plot approximate value. I'm plotting 0 0.1 on the vertical against 0 0.77. So I could actually plant, plot against 0 0.7 or 0 0.8 rather. So it's like saying 0 0.1 against 0 0.8. So let me look at 0 0.1 on the vertical axis. I think that will be straightforward. This is 0 0.1 on the vertical, the V axis. So that one is straightforward directly there. But how do I locate 0 0.8? That's 0 0.77. Okay. 0.77 approximately 0.8. Remember, we said two boss represent 0.1. How do we get that? There are 20 bosses, 20 bosses make one, so it's like saying um, one divided by 20. So we have this, so times two, 0 0.1. That means each of two, when you count any two boss, you count 0 0.1. And I'm, I want to look at 0 0.8, so I'll count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Two two bosses zero point one. So this will be zero point eight approximately zero point eight against zero point one. So are we having it here? Okay, and then we just mark that. Then we complete the rest. Alright, this is our graph. So we now use a ruler to connect the lines that fall perfectly. Okay? The the point that align perfectly it's called line of best fit so we'll do like this um, okay this will be the best now four feet enter the best fit so i just draw straight line okay this is a line of best fit. So this is our graph. We now go ahead. The next question is to calculate the slope. Determine okay, horizontal. Determine the slope S of the graph. All right.